Guys, welcome back to Crawford Farms Entertainment. Today, we're going to explore the regional tournament arc. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon so that you won't miss any of our anime content. Okay, so it's my sophomore year. And by some strange twist of fate, I'm single as a dollar bill right before regionals. Just say you got dumped, Mike. It is okay. Confident, sure, I've got a bit more of it, but let's be real, I was still the kind of guy who worried enough to sweat bullets over a chess match. We hit regionals, and I made weight like a pro. Then they slap up the brackets, and then I'm over there faster than a kid on free ice cream day. Seeing I'm a number three seed, it should have been a pat on my back, but instead, it was more like a tap on a landmine. My first round opponent, Ryan Roach. And yes, I tweaked his name to keep the peace, but all you comic fans know what's up with alliteration. Peter Parker, Bruce Banner, Clark Kent. My brain's buzzing. What if Ryan's district's the superhero league of wrestling or something? I'm pondering my potential doom, thinking I'm about to face the wrestling world's answer to Superman. Not impressed. The pressure is mounting. And I'm half convinced everyone's expecting me to pull a rabbit out of my hat. But there's no hat and no rabbit. Just me trying to shake off a mountain of doubt. Stepping onto the mat, I spot him, Ryan Roach. Looking less like a high schooler and more like a character from Street Fighter. Complete with a Vega mask. I think, not only do I have to wrestle, but I'm up against a video game boss. In that moment, I was basically Izuku Midoriya analyzing a thousand different ways that this could go south. But then a switch flipped. Never back down, cause I love to fight. One last rep, one last strike. Now I'm just kidding, I can do this all night. No matter the foe, I'm in it and winning. Making the most of every last minute. Leap and barriers and Maybe it was defiance, maybe it was desperation. I'm guessing desperation. Or maybe I really just didn't want to run the loser's gauntlet in the consolation bracket. Whatever it was, I decided right then and there, I was taking Vega down. And would you believe it? I actually beat him. I scored a major decision, which for the uninitiated means that I won by eight points. There I was feeling like I had just leveled up to Super Saiyan 1. Firing off single leg takedowns like they were going out of style. With round one in the bag, two more wins stood between me and the state meet. Here's the kicker, not too long ago, I was homeless, and I was the type of kid that was more likely to be arrested than standing on a wrestling podium. My dad was in and out of jail, and I wasn't exactly on a first name basis with victory. But now, now I was battling for a shot at the state championship. Round two is a blur. I know I won it, but my mind was already on the semifinals. A rematch with our rival school's captain awaited me. Last time I was David to his Goliath. This time, who knew? I was a Christian now, so I prayed before the match. But even at that young age, I figured if there was anyone that had bigger fish to fry than worrying about a high school wrestling match, it was God. Still, I prayed for safety and the strength to do my best because I had some serious nerves back then. I still do now. Even a little bit of divine reassurance definitely helped. So the moment of truth arrives and this guy is built like a tank and we're about to tangle on the map. It's a scrap and a half, but somehow I edge out another major decision. Sorry to make you wait. Hope you're at peace. Special ah! I'm through to the state tournament, feeling like I had just been handed the keys to the kingdom from zero to hero. And it was just an amazing feeling. Now it was time for the finals. I had a guy who had already beaten me during the regular season. The guy was good, but I was now a Super Saiyan. I felt things were going to be different. I was a different person, focused, dedicated. In all tournament, my skills and technique were on point. I was the underdog, but I was prepared to pull off a major upset. 
This guy was a senior. I was a sophomore, but I didn't care. I was ready to knock him off his high horse. Common House, Seventh Universe. I'm standing on the edge, ready to take flight. Aiming for the stars, reaching new heights. Took every step I take, the world fades away. Now, I don't remember the specifics of the match. You got your b whooped. Hey, why did you beat me? I didn't curse, I said but. Because I spent most of it looking up at the ceiling counting lights. I ended up losing by 15 points, and that's a technical fall. Well, at least I didn't get pinned, right? I was so disappointed in myself and my performance. Peaks and valleys, right? So I, either way, I ended up making it to the state tournament, and I was left pondering. Can I turn the ship around and make history for my school? Stay tuned, folks. Hit the subscribe button if you want to find out what happens next and see a blend of triumph, despair, and a whole lot of teenage angst. Catch you on the flip side, my friends. Stay tuned for an anime rap video from the old bald guy that is telling the story. On fighting until I get to win. No matter the hurdles, I balance in my way. I rise above it all. Come what may, protecting the weak. Make it evil pay In deepest dark I search for the light Battling my demons with all my might Through the trials I face I'll find my place Among the legends I'm here to stay Never back down cause I love to fight One last rep, one last strike Nah I'm just kidding I can do this all night Never back down cause I love to fight One last rep, one last strike Nah I'm just kidding I can do this all night no matter what I'm in for winning Making the most of every last minute Leaping barriers and breaking limits I mean, I'm breaking these chains, set myself free I rise from the ashes, just wait and see Never bound by fear or lies I live to embrace the grind of life Lost in the crowd, looking for my place Searching for meaning in this race, every breath I take, I feel the beat. Guide me forward to where we'll meet. Follow the rhythm, it leads us alone. Dancing to my own tune, now it's sown. No matter what comes, I'll find my way. I'll keep pushing day by day, finding new challenges and limits to break. From Super Saiyan God with a little G, now Ultra Instinct impossible to beat. Never back down, cause I love to fight. One last rep, one last strike. Nah, not for me, I can do this all night. No matter the hope, I'm in it to win it. Making the most of every last minute. Leaping barriers and breaking limits. It hurts, push until I bleed. If I drop dead, then I'm sparring with the king. Alright, guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna continue with the state wrestling tournament. This is our state wrestling tournament saga. Make sure you click like and subscribe so that you won't miss any of our anime content. And if you haven't checked out the last few videos, make sure you go back and watch those so this makes a little bit more sense. And uh, check out this new cartoon avatar. I went back to using it. This one looks a little bit better. At least it doesn't have three heads. Okay, so I was one of two people to qualify for our state tournament. And I was excited. I felt like I had just clinched a victory for the seventh universe in the tournament of power. Do it! Goku! Frieza! Go! This must be the secret of the seventh universe. The power of trust. Things were going great. My grades were good. I was attending school on a regular basis and a court case from an earlier incident had completely been settled. I was now a semi-normal dude who was about to compete at States. I forgot to mention that year I ended up as a cheerleader. The cheerleading coach kind of tricked us. We were told it was the men's gymnastics team and me being a wannabe ninja comic book guy who had learned how to do backflips at a young age, I thought, why not? When we went out and suddenly realized we were now cheerleaders, no pom-poms, but we had megaphones and tiny shorts, it was already too late. As a teenage boy, it was pretty cool hanging out with cheerleaders, but we still felt duped. Now all of us, we were sort of football rejects, and we weren't small guys. So our first time doing a basket toss was quite the spectacle. 
we threw the poor girl so high up in the air that we surprised ourselves. We looked up, admiring what we had done, and suddenly we were interrupted by the coach shouting, you got to catch her. And we did. Well, we caught most of her, uh, but there was no serious injuries. I continued cheering well into basketball season, and my ability to do back handsprings impressed the crowds. I would get cheers and all, and people I almost had like a little fan following until we went up against our rival school and there was a male cheerleader there that was like a real ninja i mean this guy flipped circles around me not long after that my wrestling coach told me if i didn't quit he was gonna beat the beep out of me or whatever so i, I gave that up but not sure why i told that story but hey i did okay so we were on our way to lakeland for the big show i felt like i had been teleported to this grand stage in this tournament of power now this was decades before that story dropped so to describe it it was more like uh, a daniel larusso in the karate kid our modern day version would be like izaku at the ua sports festival except in this universe my quirk was less about superhuman strength or flashy powers it was more about as my wrestling coach put it me not going out on the mat getting the beat beat out of me the air was thick with anticipation or maybe it was just the combined scent of sweat, adrenaline, and kin shield, and, and a little bit of Axe body spray. My heart raced like I was Naruto, running head first into a battle against an opponent far beyond my level. I was fueled by this unshakable ninja-like spirit. I remembered my journey here. It was a path littered with all kinds of obstacles that would make even the toughest hero consider turning back. Yet I pressed on, fueled by determination and a newfound faith my life hadn't been a series of battles against power mad villains but rather against circumstances against the odds against adversity and self-doubt and like every good anime protagonist i had my tragic backstory homelessness troubles fights and a family that could have been the subject of their own dramatic saga yet here i was about to step onto the mat my own tournament arc climax unfolding Thinking back, it reminds me of Goku constantly facing stronger adversaries, always finding a way to break past his limits. Even though I wasn't always the weakest on the mat, I felt I had to overcome more than most to get to the point where I was at. There was no school bus to my neighborhood, so it was close to a two mile walk each way. That's rain, that's heat, or whatever, and once I was sold out on wrestling, that meant I was walking it every day and for matches, I was also walking at night, risking being robbed or killed. So for me, half the battle was just showing up and making it home. I had made it against all the odds, and I had succeeded in ways that I previously thought impossible. That Saiyan blood metaphorically flowed through my veins, pushing me towards my own Super Saiyan moment. My first match was against an opponent who on paper seemed like he had stepped right out of One Punch Man. Someone who could end my journey with a single blow. I was pretty excited about my record and my chances coming into the state tournament, but when I saw the people in my bracket, I suddenly was back in that mindset of that scrawny kid who got thrashed as a freshman. The arena, this colossal behemoth of lights and echoes, swallowed my confidence momentarily. I felt like Deku quaking in his boots, yet burning with an inner fire to prove himself. The match began, and for a moment I was in complete control. I moved with a precision that surprised even myself, channeling my inner ninja, flipping and dodging with a flare that would have even made the most seasoned Naruto fan nod in approval. Now the dodging and flipping, that was all cap. I muscled and stalled to survive the first period. The first period ended with me ahead, and it was a small victory, but it was a victory nonetheless. Then the era came. I chose the bottom position, a tactical misstep that would haunt me. My opponent, capitalizing on it, turned the tide in a series of skilled maneuvers that left me scrambling. I thought of Dragon Ball Z, of how Goku would find himself on the back foot, pushed to his limits before rallying back to win. Except this time, there was no dramatic comeback, no hidden power surge. The whistle blew, it was over, and I had lost. The defeat was crushing, a swift kick to my gut that winded me more than any physical blow could. I had miscalculated and paid the price. The tournament setup was unforgiving. My opponent's loss in the next round meant I was entirely out of the tournament. 
from hero to zero, just like that. But like every protagonist facing their low points, I was faced with a choice to accept this defeat as the end or to use it as motivation to push harder. My Saiyan spirit wouldn't allow me to quit. I was determined to train, to improve, and to come back stronger. This wasn't the end, it was merely a plot twist in my ongoing saga. The narrative arc of my life, punctuated by this moment of failure, wasn't a tragedy, but a stepping stone. I knew my journey was about pushing past my limits, about finding my true strength. This defeat wasn't just a loss, it was a lesson, one that would carry me as I moved forward, training harder and smarter, and getting better intentionally, rather than just showing up and hoping for the best. As I left the arena, the echoes of my defeat ringing in my ears, I couldn't help but smile. In every anime or action movie, the hero faces setbacks, but it's their response to those setbacks that define their character. I was ready to write the next chapter, to be the protagonist of my own life, determined to return not just as a competitor, but as a champion. Ahead lay challenges, rivals, and battles that would test me to the core. Just like any strong anime warrior, I was ready to face these head on. After all, every great story needs a bit of surprise, humor, and a protagonist who refuses to give up, no matter the odds.